All right, a while back, I received my Dolshi doll that I arrived with it. I can't even talk today. Anyway, a while back, I received my Dolshi doll that I had ordered during the event period. Um, I didn't order one of the 18 M bodies, but I ordered one of the 28 M bodies. Anyway, if you want all that information, you can watch the box opening video. Some of you wanted a review on how plausible this doll was. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this particular body is the um, 28M35S doll in Tans, the Saint. The only difference between the uh, 32S and the 35S body is the uh, extra joints right here. The other difference, I should say, I guess there's two differences. Anyway, the joints right here, and then the sculpt, this area sculpt, and then this area sculpt. If you notice on the 32S body, the uh, abdominal muscles are not as defined, and the rib cage is not as defined. That's the only difference between the 32S and the 35 S bodies is there's an extra joint here and here and then the sculpt is different here and of course the rib cage. All the other joints on the doll are the same. Um but I will review the joints anyway. Okay, we're going to start with his feetsies. Um there's no double jointing here, it's just a single joint the feet. Um, the ankle ball is connected to the foot and then that sits into the ankle joint on the lower leg. Um, then you have the knee. It's a double jointed knee. You have the uh, lower leg, the knee part, and then you have this knee joint here. Let's see if I can show you. A knee joint here. Then you have the upper leg joint. And it snaps like that. Okay. It's got all of black here. Okay. Now, here's where it gets complicated. Don't you just love that resin on resin sound? Anyway. Um, let's raise his arms up here. The hip joint, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay. The hip joint, you have the leg joint here. And to make them sit, you have to make sure the string is in the slot and then do that. And then you have this joint right here, which is essentially his entire butt cheek. Okay that. The ball joint is on the the upper leg. Then you have the butt joint, butt cheek. Uh, there we go. That entire joint there. It has like this little lip thing right here, which is supposed to catch onto his lower pelvis so it doesn't pop out of place as easily, but it doesn't work too well. It easily comes off anyway like so. And then you have his... Is that light? Okay, okay, I was shadowing it. Sorry. Then you have his, uh, uh, lower pelvis part right here. You saw that a little bit earlier. Like so. And then you have this joint right here. This extra piece, which is the only difference, one of the only differences between the 32S and the 35S body is this extra joint. Uh, you can see it from the back side. It connects to this. And then connects to that, like so. And then from the front side, connects to 
that. And connects to that. Like that. And then this joint right here. So I dip to this, the sculpt. And. Uh, yeah, the sculpt is the only thing different in this part. And you see it from the front. It's just a single joint. There's nothing special about that. And from the back. Right there. Then this extra joint here. It's the same as the one on the lower. See, it comes out like that. And then like that. Front, you have the part like that, and this part like that, and you have the chest portion right here. Again, the sculpt right here is different. A solid piece right here, and then on both of them, you have this neck joint right here that can go up or down or side to side. And, oh. You have the uh, oh the arms, the, the shoulders. Uh, it's kind of like a double jointed shoulder. There you have the shoulder area right here. Then if I OMG there's a spider on me. Spiders, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you have this joint right here, this little piece, and then you have his upper arm, which has the ball joint onto it. And you have this little flap here. I guess that's so it helps them look more smoothly. I'm not sure. But there's that. You can move around in there like so. Okay. And then you have his elbow joints. Now there's like four pieces of this. There's the upper arm. There's the elbow, the upper elbow joint. Let's see if I can give a good look at this. This joint piece right here. Then there's this lower elbow and joint piece that it's kind of stuck in here. Uh, yeah, I guess I need to sand that down a little bit because it's not coming out like it should be. Anyway, there's this joint piece here. So there's, and then you have the forearm, of course. So you have this joint piece, this joint piece, then the one that's stuck kind of in here, that joint piece, and then this piece. And his wrist is the same as this foot. You have the wrist, the little ball joint attached to the wrist, which goes to the upper arm. Um, his head, you just have the neck joint, that's all. And well, she does have a faceplate system. You just take the faceplate off like that. Now, this little magnet right here is a teeny tiny little magnet. If this magnet was a little bigger, like that magnet it would hold the face on a whole lot better but as it is the face plate falls off very easily and this little metal piece that comes off has two tiny little magnets in it that have gone to this one like so sit that back on there like that and this elbow let me show you the elbow again this elbow is a little bit better on the elbow joints. Well, it was supposed to be. There we go, kind of like this. Like so. That's what it looks like closed. Okay. 
open, of course. Anyway, that's that joint. Oops, see, his face paper came off again. Um. <sighs> Possibility. Um. Could be good. But, uh. He can't hold his pose. If you actually manage to get him into the pose you want, he won't hold it. Um, I don't know if he needs to be looser strong or maybe tighter strong, but like I said, um, or might not have said, he is very tightly strong if you haven't heard the resin, you know, creaking. Um, but my advice to you is these little extra parts right here really do nothing to help him pose. So I would just get the, uh, 32S body. Um, because, yeah, like I said, these really don't do anything pose-wise. Um, it's just one more part to get broken or messed up or something like that. So I would just get the simpler body without these joints. Um, oh, he doesn't stand very well either. Um, you have to balance them just right and don't even shake the table or touch him or anything or he'll fall over. I have a lot of MSD, or not a lot, just one MSD doll that can stand on her own and you can shake the table, touch her, poke her, whatever, she will not fall over. But he does not stand very well on his own, so you might need a doll stand if you want to keep him standing. Um, sitting poses and stuff. He can sit, I guess, but not very well. Take this. Get it in there. Make sure the strings are on the side. Okay. See, he just kind of pops open everywhere. And well. <sighs> There's kind of sort of a sitting pose, but if you look back here, it's a mess. Um, like this one, it keeps popping out. if you want to put him in a kneeling pose. Yeah. Like I said, if you try to put him in a pose, he won't hold it. This is the tan doll. They come in pale, fresh, which I, I think they might mean flesh color, but anyway, it just says fresh, oriental, pale tan, tan, and ebony. This is the tan skin. Um, yeah. Get my oatmeal cookie. Okay. While I was finishing my oatmeal cookie and cleaning up some spider guts, I remembered a few points that I should talk about in this review. Um, he does have problem posing, but uh, I remembered I had bought some um, little pose rings. Uh, they're just like little silicone rings. You know. Let me try to open this package. Ah, uh, these little squishy silicone art rings. Um, art pose rings. I got these from Lutz, I think. But anyway, you could typically, or in theory, use these to um, help him hold or hold the pose of the dolls. You'd stick these, like, right here. Mm like that in their joints but you'd have to like unstring them to do that uh, they come in several different sizes 
and several BJD companies offer these. Um, I know one company, I forget which one, but they have a silicone ring too, but the hole is like off-centered on some things, just in case, you know, like, I think, yeah, like this joint up here, the string is not exactly in the center, so that would help with that. They, they offer, they come in different sizes, uh, I think this is one of the smaller sizes, whoops, on, uh, the Let's website, um, the thickness is, varies too from company to company, but you can also, uh, felt your dolls joints, maybe to help them pose more. Uh, I haven't actually seen any pictures of this, but I've heard it being done, but I haven't done it myself yet. Uh, but that's one option, is to help him pose and hold his pose, his little art ring things. Text message. Anyway, and then another thing I think of using or talking about is like um, the eyes and stuff and to show you different eyes. Uh, right now he has nothing in there, no goop or anything. And let's see. Oh, putting a wig on these things with face plate on there is a pain in the butt. Um, if you try to put a silicone wig cap, wig cap or something or wig on a stall, it's annoying because his face plate pops off while you're trying to put the wig on. So, like I said, you might be able to mod it to have a bigger magnet right there so the face plate stays on better. But anyway, back to the eyes. I have lots of eyeballs, as you can see. And I have some blank ones. And, oops, look at that. And then some more blank ones. But, um, anyway. And I made this little case myself with some foam and stuff I've had because the one lets, if they want $5 for it, it would cost like $23 to ship it. So I was like, screw that. Anyway, so I made my own. Let's see. Here's him without any eyes. This is the sink, by the way. Okay. And these eyes, let's use, these are pretty. If I can grab a hold of them. These are 14 millimeter eyes. Okay. I don't know if you can see it very well. E. There's him with some 14 millimeter eyes. Uh, these are also high dome. You can see rounded glass um, high dome eyes. Um, I don't use acrylic eyes. I mean, I have a pair that came with my resin sold doll, but acrylic eyes to me just look so lifeless and dull. I don't like them, so I use glass eyes. I don't care. I'm a gla exclusively a glass eye person. Anyway, the dome, the high dome gets in the way a little bit of sticking him in there. So there's lots of shadows in his eyes. Um, and gaps in the corners. Yeah, see if you can see it. I'll try to take pictures later. But anyway. Um, yeah, the, the 14 millimeter, I mean, I have his little slots back here, then they fit in there rather well, a little bit loose. The doom gets in the way again. 14 millimeter. Then I have some 16 millimeter eyes. These are the eyes that I think Dolce suggests you get. Uh, they're a little big, I think. I mean, they fit the eye socket better. But uh, the iris and pupil is a little bit too big for the eye, I think. They fit in there better. They sit right in there. And then, let me see if I can line this up. 
Oh, these are low dome, by the way. Low dome eyes. They fit better. Yeah. And if you notice, see the iris in the pupil pretty much takes up the entire eye. So, anyway. So I think that a little bit too big for it. Um, I did notice that the 12 millimeter eyes, they're pretty much the, the pupil and iris are pretty much the same size. It's just the diameter is bigger. Um, so, I'm sure you can find some eyes with a smaller iris and pupil. But, uh, I here's some of my head custom made. Awesome, huh? I had ordered more custom made eyes, color that I wanted, and I ordered them with a smaller pupil and iris. I haven't got them in yet, but they'll essentially look like this. But they will have a smaller pupil and iris. It'll be like half the size of that. So they'll fit, they'll, you'll actually be able to see the red behind his eye. I'm sorry, I'm babbling, aren't I? But anyway. Let's see, I think these are, I had some, I might, are these, nope, these are 14 millimeter. Or are they? Yeah. I thought these were 12 millimeter, but I guess they're 14 millimeter. I won't be able to see it because they're still blank, but there's the eye for that. These are the plastic ones because I was just testing these out and now I can't get the stupid lens out of it to put any new eyeballs in. Then you I have these. They come apart by the way, but I can't get them apart. acrylic ones, they're plain old acrylic. They come with a lens, you can make your own eyes with that, like that too. But I don't have any, I have some ordered, the 12 millimeter eyes, but they're not in yet. Same thing with my custom eyes, they're not in yet, so I can't show you the one with the smaller people. Uh, wigs, oh the wigs. Um, I've had trouble finding wigs that actually fit this guy. Um, on Lutz I ordered a mohair wig that was supposed to be 8.5 maybe to 9.5 but I think it was actually a 9.10 wig because it was way too big for him. So I ordered another wig, the same wig in a smaller size, 7-8, which was way too small. It wouldn't fit on his head. So I'm assuming if you can actually find an 8-9 wig, it might actually fit him. But uh, I've ordered some materials to make my own wig, but they haven't come in yet either. So I'll be making him a wig because I just can't find one that fits perfectly or the style that I want. I mean, if I don't like the one I make, I'll buy him another wig. But anyway, the two wigs that I bought for him that don't fit are for sale on my eBay. Um, I will put the link in my uh, oh, what's it called? Description. Just in case you want to look at the wigs or if you want to buy those wigs, that'd be great. Get my money back at least. Some of it anyway. Um, I also have a pair of shoes for sale. I suppose I can list those too. But anyway. Yeah, some things to consider. Him. Eight nine wig that might fit. I've heard that some seven eight wigs also fit him, but the nine ten and up wigs are just too big. He has a smaller head, I think I'm just told. But yeah, seven eight eight nine wigs depends. I'd get a um, an eight nine just to be sure. 
and some companies seven eight weeks fit them. Um, clothes wise, um, oh I can't remember because a lot of times Dolce don't ha actually have uh, clothes on the website for sale for these guys. I think it was Angel Studio. Their clothes fit them well. Um, I know Alice's collection has some 70 centimeter clothes that might fit him. I'm not sure. I haven't actually bought any doll clothes yet because I'm making their clothes on my own. Because I don't really like the modern look, so these are all going to be fantasy dolls. So I'm making everything myself. Um, I think that's about it. If I remember anything else, I'll just add it later in an audio file to the video. But yeah, my dog is barking. Sorry. She's a great team. <laughs> anyway.